Hey Bob, it's me today. I want to do episode 3 of Nerf. This episode is about the pit. If you don't know what the pit is, it is a game where you jump down to, you know, the pit and you fight. And it's basically clicky, cookie clicker in Minecraft. You know the game cookie clicker. That's basically what this game is. It's really fun. I've been playing this game since it first came out in like 2018. I forget which month but it came out in 2018. And I have a lot of experience playing in it. Um, and there's a lot of things I want, kind of, or just some problems. So the first problem is kind of the unbalancing of the entire game. And I don't know how necessarily you could fix this, because it's very tricky to do. If you go to, let's say you get prestige in level 1, on prestige 5, let's just say. You are weaker than someone who is, you know someone who is max prestige 4, like you become weaker, which doesn't, shouldn't necessarily be the case, but I understand if it isn't, then it's going to be extremely overpowerful then. So there's a line that is really, really kind of like weird, because if you, if you just stay the same strength that you were when you prestige, you're, you're going to be way overpowered. But at the same time, you're too weak. You are way weak. Like when you first Get into a new prestige, you have to work your way up again. It is so difficult because you don't have your gear, you, you, you don't have all the things that you have unlocked, so you're basically weak. But you have other people who are way stronger than you, insta killing you, or two shotting you, and it gets very annoying because I get prestige to. I got to prestige six. And I, in the first two days, two or three days, very difficult. I recommend just. Do all the daily challenges, you have to do everything very quickly, because you're not, you're not going to, you're just going to die and you're going to suffer, and just, it, it's really, really unfair for the, you know, if you're going to prestige, it makes you realize, what's the point of prestige again if you're just going to be really weak then, only to be powerful again. Well, there are reasons, but you know, I'm not getting into it, because you know, this isn't a, a in-depth look at the game mode. It's just my problem with it. Another problem I have are the hackers. Now, last episode I talked about TNT tag and how there are supposed hackers, but it's just reach. That's just in the game. The same thing can be said about the pit, because there's a lot of hits, a lot of stuff in the pit where you have reach. You have speed that gives you reach. And people abuse that, and they're are legitimate hackers in this game and it's very annoying usually these hackers stay in the corners of the map because if you go to the center i'm assuming they would get insta banned because their fight bar b hop or whatever kill aura will just go off everywhere and kill a bunch of people and that will you know cause more alarm and you're on the corner of the map and they're just getting kills from you know corners of the map getting killed so he'll go there and usually they get bounty because they get a bunch of kills you get bounty and that would cause people to realize hey this, this guy is getting like 80 kills and he has a bounty of like 500 or whatever I don't know and he's wearing the default armor maybe he's hacking but even then the watchdog report doesn't always go in and I'm reporting, feel everyone's reporting the lobby, and he's still not getting banned. It takes like five minutes at most to get him, to get someone banned and see in the chat that he's removed. So it's ridiculous. Which Watchdog needs they high basically needs to update Watchdog like really bad because it's not that good sometimes. <laughs> like like it only works if they're really doing it, but if they're trying to stay on. It can be really difficult because there's so many things in Minecraft that counts as like hacking. Like you have reach, you have B hopping, which just be you know you being really fast. But there's a difference. But I, Watchdog can't detect it because it's because you know things in Minecraft and actually hacking are so similar to one another. It's kind of ridiculous sometimes, and that's why a lot of hackers have reach get away with it because there's so many people with reach. Everyone in the pit has reach. Like, not no reach, extreme reach. And they don't get banned. I report, every time I die, I report people because, like, they're reaching, they're hacking, yet they don't get banned because, you know, you could 8 block reach someone, but 
Well, actually, I can't detect it because it's so similar to legit Minecraft. Now, I'm not saying everyone hacks. I'm not saying that. It's just, you know, it's just so annoying to play this game and you just die all the time to hackers. That's kind of the point of this game. It's the dialogue. You're not meant to live more than, like, a couple seconds. And that leads to the next point of, like, all the overpowered abilities in this game. One specifically that I'm first going to mention is... I don't know what the name of it is, but it's the one where you just don't have anything in hand. It's like your regular fist, and you can attack people, and like one, two shots people. Whatever that is, needs to be removed. It's not fair at all. So I'm using my axe to, you know, hit them, and they're just two-shotting me. And it's like, even with diamond armor, it's just, it's just useless against it. So, it's like, really ridiculous that this ability is in the game. Another ability that I see is just... There's just random explosions that are happening around the map. And I don't understand how these explosions are happening. Like, usually it's when there's- it's supposed to try hard, because I think you have to be prestige enough to get to that point. Where it's like, chicken missiles, there's, you know, random explosions, like you hear the ticking and it goes BOOM! Like, that is annoying. You know, we're just trying to get kills, because the way the pit works is that... You know, you have the center guy, he's, you know, trying to get bound, he's trying to get a kill streak, everyone's trying to kill him. He's killing them, you steal his kills, that's how it works to get, to get to 25 kills. For your daily challenge, get a thousand gold, to level up and become more stronger. That's how I do it, I think that's how a lot of other people do it. That's why so many people are in the middle, when there's a tryhard with like full diamond armor, enchanted diamond armor or whatever, in the obsidian box, that's why everyone does it. And it's annoying when you die so many times to these things like um just missiles and bombs again it's also third thing i want to talk about according to my next topic is this giant slime thing i don't know what it's called i don't know what it does i guess it heals the player because it says like green plus hearts to the player who pl pl placed it down i don't know what's about but it is kind of annoying to just fight it because you know you have to walk around it but it moves and it, it, it deals damage it's not like it's just a passive thing you can't kill it, and it just hurts you and kills you, and I don't see the point of it. I guess it's meant to heal the player who places it down, which is kind of annoying because it's kind of unfair. Because if that player is getting a bunch of hearts and healing, then why aren't we getting that? At a lower level, I mean. <laughs> I can have a fucking slime down in this pond, it'll be so funny. Uh, but the final thing I want to talk about is the, the events. Now, I don't like some of the events. I don't. Be I mean, a lot of them are just plain unfair and annoying. Like, I recently played one which was the uh, ticket thing, the raffle. And these are things I've had since the game came out, and it's just, what's the point of going out beyond the map if, you if you're gonna die with all the tickets? Like, if you get more than, like, if you get five or more raffle tickets, it'll show on the top of your player head that you have five tickets. That means all the tryhards are gonna go and kill you. But you can't do anything because they have their hack clients on, they reach and kill you, and you die. So what's the point of going out? Which, some, but in the middle, there's no raffle tickets either, because so many people are there and they don't spawn enough. What I want to change that mode for this event, have it so in the middle, or in a center pit, a bunch of raffles are just spawning constantly. And farther out you go, there's less raffles. Because there's no point going out all the way across the map, you know, going out to like one of the corners of the map clicking tickets. There's no point because you will die, and I can only, I can't. It's in order to get every now and you have to get 27, which I think is impossible. But I don't. Know, I guess you have to download a hack client in order to do it because that's how these people are doing it. Because I see they have like 90 tickets. And I don't know how, which really should be fixed. Or if you die with a lot of tickets, you keep the tickets, and you get to go down and click click it because you know you're, it's still a luck chance. It's not like you're guaranteed to win all the coins, it's a luck chance, and it's still gonna be the same thing. If everyone has, like, over 30 tickets, then, you know, the chances of you getting it is still gonna be very little. I mean, so that's one thing. Another thing is a spiral event that happens. That needs to be removed. That is completely just not part of what the pit should be about. It is pinning people against each other, which I think these events should just be... You know, as a group, trying to do one thing. Like, the Rage Pit is the best event, because you can 
you know, is all about dying, so I can just take my armor and just, you know, help the cause. With this, you're you're just fighting for your your life, trying to get to the sixth floor. Recently, I actually did get to the sixth floor. I don't know how, because uh, all this is just hackers and tryhards using their reach and Kalora to, you know, kill you instantly. And um, which I don't understand why it's even a game mode. It's just so ridiculous. It's so unfair. The only reason I play it is because I just want you know the goal with experience to level up quicker. It's all I play it for. So sometimes I even just say it's okay there because you know I don't want to play it and it's just it's not fun to die and it's just even the hitbox are a bit buggy sometimes. So the hitting player it doesn't do any damage to them. So I don't know what that's all about. But. It's just so difficult. I didn't even know there's even more six floors. Apparently, there's more than six floors. It's like eight floors, I think. Because when I played recently, I was saying, "Oh, the hackers are all the way up there." And yeah, they are gonna be up there because it's just dude, they're hacking. They're gonna do it, and it's not fair to people who don't have hack clients or reach or have Quake Pro on. Some people don't want their games to look disgusting, and it's just ridiculous that this is a game mode, and it's like you're kind of forced to do it. And if you're level one, you just joined. I feel sorry for you, because you're basically going to die all the time, because you are real weak against everyone else. So, yeah. It even divides you, I should say. It divides players. <laughs> so you think that you're going to be all good going to the next floor? No, you're going to get hacked on. And you go all the way back down. One by one by one. The final thing I want to touch on is the crates. These, no, these aren't events, they're just minor events. I, I do not open them anymore, because I remember back in the day, people would just... You'll put up civilian boxes all around them, and the tryhards will be only ones that get it, or one person will get it, or two people. Then they got rid of it. But still, the tryhards, you know, they kill or you and kill you because only they deserve it. It's not like, like they need they need to make it so that no one can fight in that area, no one can fight, and you can just open it. Same with all the other mini events, like the dragon egg event. Maybe so you can't kill anyone. Because it's not fair, because you're always going to get hit whenever you're trying to find a dragon, because you can't fight anyone, because then you're going to die then, because then the person's going to kill Ori to death. And I keep saying kill Ori and reach, everyone legit has reach, and they're going to kill you very fast. You can't move when they're doing it, because it's weird. But the dragon egg event and the crate event, that always happens, you, you sometimes can't even open, click on the dragon egg sometimes. The dragon egg, you have to click on it, but people just... Football, you know, pounce you away. Like, they just fling you away. They, they, you're using your hack line to fling you away. And I, I don't like that. I want to click on the dragon. I want to level up faster. But I can't because these people are blocking me from doing it. Like, they're literally blocking me. And I can't move. And I'm circling around the map to try to get in. But they just can't because I keep circling around with me. Legit people are targeting me so they can't, I can't do it. Same with the crate. I'm just going to open a crate. A tryhard, who's like prestige 10 or whatever, goes in and keeps killoring me away. And he does it to everyone who isn't over a certain prestige or doesn't have, you know, diamond armor on or whatever. I'm guessing they're all friends. It always happens and I just don't open a crate anymore. I just don't because there's no point. Even when, when they don't happen, if I open it, it instantly takes away because people have, you know, um, you know, because there's a hacker in there, they have the take all chest thing out. I don't know what it's called, but they just. That happens sometimes, and it's not fair then. <laughs> People just collect all of it. And it's just, what's the point? What's the point of, of going through that process of clicking on the chest just for everything to be stolen? I'm looking to just get like one, just one, one thing out of it. I remember I got one thing out of it only once. Maybe twice, and that's it. They really need to change it so that just when the chest opens up, I'm going to click it all. When it goes down to zero, it gets spewed out the gold and experience all around that specific area. Because, uh, make it a little bit, a tiny bit fair. Yes, granted, you're still gonna get, like, football punched, slapped away. You're all gonna try to get it, but still, it would be kind of a bit fairer than, it would be similar to the Mindplex shard thing, when the shards, you know, spew out from the, from the center where you placed it, and it just, you know, circles around a specific area. That's what I want. But that's not going to happen, because, uh, why would they listen to me? And uh, there's probably, probably people in the comments section being like, yeah, that's not going to work. These are just my opinions. And that's about it. That's all I want to talk about for this video. Um, 
think you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. I'm gonna go now, so goodbye. Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. I know I've been blessed. I, I had a thousand chances. How many left? I, I, I've been sinning lately. What do you suggest? What should I do? I want 999 more Hail Marys right now.